Hi guys, welcome back to part two of Dragon Romper 2 Goodbye to Spare. We're going to just jump straight into it. So last episode we started learning a bit about the characters and we also got introduced to Monami. And we met Nagito. I forgot how loud this is. Give me a sec. Oh, that's better. Right. If you see or hear Ava kicking off in the background, it's because I've had to put her back in her cage because she's been kicking off, so... I think everyone else is exploring the island. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should at least try to learn more about it. While we're exploring the island, why don't we also finish introducing ourselves to everyone? Yeah, you're right. Right, so we've got to go and meet the other characters. Oh! Ah, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually, to be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. I see Makoto did that as well, didn't he? <laughs> Shh. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Eh, you don't know? The school is so popular there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then was I also... Hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. Well, it's not your fault if you can't really remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Anyway, I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone on this island then. Oh, I should apologise, there was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone else is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an explanation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now let's go. Travel on the island can be done through the screen. You can move with the W, A, S, and D key. You can, yeah. Right. Oh, you happen to have your own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take. So try walking to places instead of using your jump or map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Okay. Now, how do I get onto the e-handbook again? Ah, there we go. Oh, it's a little egg. I don't need to clean it or anything, do I? No. So we just got to keep an eye on that. Okay. Central. Oh. Hi, mate. It looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? That's what we're going there to find out, right? It's not safe when we get there and what we need to do. So that means there's two islands. Okay. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate block in it. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge. Or the bride? Bridge, I think it means to say that. But we, it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. So is that going to open, like, maybe when the first murder occurs? Or. Jabber Rock Park. Oh, this is quite nice. So this is a park. This is a park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> hmm, it feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we were in a situation like this, I'd probably enjoy in some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the keyword. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. Oh yeah! It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining and talking to others. Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The numbers of skills you can equip to will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Hi Biocria. Don't be rude! This guy's presence is overwhelming, he doesn't seem very approachable. 
Even if his body, even his body is overwhelming. <laughs> He's plump. <laughs> Don't be rude. Ah, uh, Biakria. Have time for a small introduction? Introduction. Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Biakuya Togami. Ultimate affluent prodigy. So he's the same. So it is the same person then. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I, I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Briakira for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy's particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his network is, well, enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent prodigy. He's the expo tome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there. Hajime, was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. You don't remember? Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. <laughs> How foolish. Um, yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Well, Briacria, I'm a size 18, so I'm with you on the plump side. Let's just leave Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent prodigy? Hope fragment, yay! Like I said, what you got to say to say for yourself? Oh, just says the same thing. Okay, so that's fit for the park. Oh, it's so cute! It looks like Usami, doesn't it? Like a baby version of Usami? So cute. That's the fifth island with some stairs as well. So that's the first island. Is that it for this area? Or do I have to go back to the park then? Yeah, I leveled up. I'm just going to quickly run back to the park because on the map it's girl got the exclamation mark on the statue and I completely forgot to check that out because I was so overwhelmed by Briacria. <laughs> but it seems that there's five islands and if that is, that's very interesting. Here we are. It's a bronze statue of various animals, plus it's pretty huge. Amazing! Wow, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it, it probably symbolises the whole island. Sure is grand. This, this island symbol, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot you can do that. Oh! Another camera. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. And there's a monitor there. Looks clean. Does it look like a normal television? I think we're done there now, so... Let's check the handbook and just see. All 
Alright, here we go. So I'm going to look in the first island see if that is any different. Okay, so we're back on the beach. There's a ranch. There seems to be livestock there too. Usami Coral. This looks like a ranch. But there aren't many animals around. Oh, you found it out! You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Oh, still I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Right, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. I don't know how to feel about this. Turn into a moo cow. The poor chicken! Ah! Ah, a huge success! What the hell was all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion, but it was set up before we got here. She's probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick and illusion? Well, if you think of it rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow messing with everything things like that. It's just not cool, you know? I'm gonna see the cow. Miss and Princess are just a regular run of the mill cow. What type of chick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? We've even got a toucan? A tropical bird, that's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. That is what you call a toucan, Hajime. Let's talk to this girl over here. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hanata. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. I've met so many interesting characters today. I have negative Kameda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. She looks a little bit like um, Hina. Ultimate gymnast. How can you do gymnastics with those? Kani is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-round super super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, basics and fundamentals are all over the place. Her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in a group, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she uses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, and so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh? Don't tell me you. Oh, I get it. Yes, yeah, so you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? Y you're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Akane's just completely ignored. Okay, so who are you? Squish, squish. Uh, what's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name's Hajime Hinata. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Hyoko. Ultimate traditional dancer? I guess I could picture that. What's she doing? She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Puberty's hit late. Happened to me. Yoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. But then again, her friends are mostly men. Probably because she looks so young, her friends probably all have the same niche or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing! Squishing what? Mr. Ant, Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. That face is creepy. Come again? <laughs> 
<laughs> if you squish your tummy, it's just right. It makes this awesome sound. She's killing ants. Want to do it together? Uh, hell no. Ah, okay. <laughs> you worse. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. And I leveled up. Naito, what have you got to say? Yep, it sure is peaceful. It's like I was raised on a tropical island like this. It's probably really tasty, don't you think? Was it even raised here? There's another surveillance camera on a monitor there. Sammy Corporal. I guess it's a ranch. How can I rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Can we go inside the ranch or...? No. Okay. So that's it for this area. Okay, hotel? Hotel Mirai. Wow, oh, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps. Mirai Niki. I know what the word Mirai means future in Japanese, not just because it says it there, but because I've watched Mirai Niki, which is also English translated to Future Diary. The Hotel Mirai, huh? Looks like it was named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think our, this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? The map will be, um, be displayed if you press the tab key. I said tab key. Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, I see. Okay. So according to the icons, our one should be... Is this our one here? This cottage seems like a makeshift hotel guest room. That's Biakria's. And that's Nagato's. I don't know who this is. Or that one. Or him. <laughs> or them. Or them. I'm going to have to go and meet the other characters before. Oh, hello. Her big, you're scary. That's right, you haven't told me your name. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Team manager. Uh, um, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. No, no, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata. Please to make your acquaintance. Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. You don't need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms. Sure it's preposterous, it's not just his voice, his own body seems yep. loud. Nakamura Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. Ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager after he's an ultimate. He's travelled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down, led them to national victory as well. Rumour has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who, who plays in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... Well, with a bell like this, he's better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Oh, they got some wildlife here. Oh, okay. So we've got a few people around. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you got to keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boys' jobs to keep the girls safe. I don't like you already, but you're right. Hajime, yeah. you don't. 
agree with her. We're strong, independent women. We don't need no man. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? More hero. She's gonna die. Ultimate photographer now. Mahiro is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but here she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Honestly, I'm a, li I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent. Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just, like, insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off the island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Why is that all in yellow? Get off this island, what do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuff down on Isami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave this island together. Th that's all we have to do and we can go home? Is that true? Does she really mean that? Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave the island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. But even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along? It doesn't make any sense. What? I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's not really... It's really not that big of a deal. Not big of a deal, really. We're told that we're on a school trip without any warning that we're taken to a place like this. Then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey. Uh, eh? You. Don't eh uh, me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting for, like, forever, you know? Ah, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you too. Mm. See, Hajime Hinata, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a note to I've already made a mental mo note to remind you as unreliable Hajime. You better do your best. It's going to be tough for you to, to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. I don't want to say what I was thinking. I'm talking to both of you. Better man up and do a better. You got it. I don't like her. Because she's like, oh, I need the men to protect me. That is the opposite. Like this guy. He seems like he can keep his head on his shoulders. Who the hell are you? Don't talk to me all funny and shit to me, dumbass. Oh, Jesus. I might have to do some swear, some censors here. This guy's already in a crappy mood. What are you looking at? But you got something you want to say? Idiot. Now, now. R relax, Hiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. So his name's for you, Hiko. Uh, what? Introduce yourselves? Hey. So you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? <laughs> name's Fuyu Hiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Censoring is needed. Ultimate Yakuza. So he's a Yakuza? Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Fuyuhiko is a high school student and an heir to the Kuza Ryu clan. The Kuza Ryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of him before, right? The Kuza Ryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation with membership surpassing 30,000. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza Ryu... Kuza... Yakuza clan and it's the, the Kuza Ryu clan no less? By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is suppressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close, I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagato, you're like my saviour or something. <laughs> you should exaggerate and, uh, I guess not. <clears throat> if we're all done here, how about you dumb, dumb butts make, like, a tree and go away? <laughs> Well, he is absolutely delightful, isn't he? D I don't know, should I censor it? I feel like it's part of his, it's going to be a part of his personality and I don't want to censor too much, but I don't want it, I don't want to... Oh, why is Pet beeping? 
I keep pressing escape. <gasps> no! Why'd he die? <laughs> okay, so I guess I gotta keep a closer eye on them then. Okay, we'll start from again. That was my bad. <laughs> Rocket Punch Market. Okay. So, wait, how are we gonna buy stuff in this game? We don't have money. Okay, there's a few people in here. Um, there's cola. We're sorted. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Next to this place, we don't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Oh. It's just a figure, figure of speech. There's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? Hmm, you certainly are a sceptical type. Of course I am, even the supermarket is strange. Look around, we're in this gigantic supermarket and there's no one else here except us. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't you, Sammy, say this island was, is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Uh, what happened? What happened? It's nothing. Oh, hi! She's staring at me funny. Okay, she's coming across as adorable, but I learned her in the last game to not trust them. Um, you know... I'll take it back. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bully and a girl. Not cool, Hajime. What did I do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Okay, she's probably very adorable. And no, I'm not saying I'm lesbian here, but out of all the girls we've met so far, this one's Bay. Uh, of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... My name is Mikan Sumiki. From the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Oh, she is so adorable. Mikan. And she's a nurse. Couldn't want any more from a woman, could ya? Well... Um... And she's got a really timid voice. I think I can do that. Um, you know... Um... Uh, um, uh, my mind just drawing a blank from nervousness, and I went through all the trouble preparing five five thousand different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time. Remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> ah! Is he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so what's her deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her for now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. Oh, she's happy. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just... I can't help it. I'm so happy. I just can't remember the last time I made any friends. Oh, I'm sorry. Not, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry. I said something so preposterous. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. <laughs> Nagito. Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh, she's too precious for this world. Also, why is there a mono mal vending machine? And why is Monokuma on it? It doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Cock! <laughs> One big cola bottle. I bet it go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Not unless your name is me. Oh, hi! Hi, who are you? Uh, I'm um, Hajime Hinata. Hello. Your attention is super low. Are you feeling alright? Oh. Okay, th this girl's cool. Oh, that's right. Introductions are a go go. Ibuki. Ultimate musician. Ava, you're not a musician. Shush. 
All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. They got a hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Ooh, melons. No problemo. Probably what happened to her nose. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yerbury would shop here. Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked all for this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry, mungry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently their hit single After School Piolo Gone Hour sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. Due to their creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my, my. Are you interested? What? You could hear me? <laughs> Duh! Ibuki's a musician after all. Yeah, okay, I'm not good with music, so you have to bury me. Like Sherbert, Bosch, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna. I too am an awesome musician. <laughs> Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. I didn't even notice. I think that's everyone in here? Wait, why is... So these are military goods, huh? They even carry nitrogen goggles. I can't believe the supermarket even sells stuff like this. And surfboards. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Harjame seems to be a little bit of a wuss. Hold on, I'm paranoid now. Where's the pet? Okay, she's still an egg. Wait, is there an airport? Welcome to paradise. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be airplanes? Couldn't we use this place to escape the island? Nah, that's impossible. What's going on with your teeth? Did your dentist, like, use a nail file on them? If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? The engines have been completely removed. Nothing that I can do, nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever bought us this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, you saw me. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to the to the island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Right. Oh yeah, this reminds me. Me, you and me haven't been introduced yet, right? My name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet you. You are gonna be Andy. Do you mind? Do you want to sit? You can sit there. Sorry. As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuichi is a 7 when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it truly is beyond repair. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. Think so too, huh? Doesn't it seem pretty strange to you? Close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean Well, think about it, it's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned already in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the handbook? So are these like similar to the rules that we had in Dangan Rumpa 1? Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please leave peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. The rule two, be considerate of each other and work together to obtain heart pope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the, with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. 
So does that mean this army cannot interfere with absolutely anything? Unless, say for example, someone's like dropped something on the floor so that would be littering. It looks like we're... Sorry. Right. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as you saw me said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying that you believe what that thing told us? You forced us to come here, you know? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people who live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if, if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might actually she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. I know we've got one more person over there, but there's another surveillance camera, another monitor. All right, let's check out this guy over here. Oh. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? I said stay back. Oh, very well. I will accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> that laughter sounds evil. He's gonna kill someone. Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. In honour of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Okay. Breeder? Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, it's pretty out of there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? <laughs> Answer me. Uh, Satan? Does he count? Huh? What do you mean, pact? Pandemonium? Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it'd be best if I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible. So, a mere insect. Ha! Huh. Your magic head. essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Tr trash? Really? I mean, I got a pet on my e hamburg Does that count? And I mean... Hold on. Come here, girl. Stop. I would show it, put her on the camera, but she's been... I got that thing. My name is oh! Has he got... Are those hamsters? Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord of Ice. Hold, hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire. Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill, ultimate breeder. <laughs> what are my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage, Golden Hawk, Jumpy, as this to say? We're not used to going, to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's amazing. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did spend as a lead as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal, animal and even managed to, to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumour has it he can speak to animals, well that's probably just a joke. Speak of animals, well he's definitely eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters in their own scarf. Okay, so do I need to speak to anyone else? Speaking of breeders, what are you doing? Nope, oh, we'll just go check the beach again one more time. I think we're starting to get to the end though. Ok, 
Okay, there's no one at the beach. Right. So do I need to check in something else in the central island then? Level 5! Nope, my baby still hasn't quite hatched yet. See what I mean? Come on, get off my book please. Right. Just check the map a second, actually. So it's, it's still seen I have to come to Jabberwock Jabber Park to progress the story. So, is this, where, is this where I need to go? <laughs> the Acrea? Yes. Let's cheat. Let's go onto the map and see who we got. Right, so we have Biacria. Even though it's not letting me click on anyone else, which is a bit weird. Right, here we go. So we've seen Hiyoko and Akane. Okay, so there's a few characters we haven't met. So we haven't met the chef guy, uh, the silver haired girl. Blonde and the grey hair. So we meet. We've met Mikan and um, Ibuki. We've met Gundam and uh, Kazuichi. So we have to go. We've got to go back to the hotel site. Actually, you know what? Let's just fast travel over there. Let's just go there. Here we go. No. Got that. Okay. Let's Oh! Ah, uh, no, no, no! This old building is in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know? Sure, oh, no, it's even more dangerous. Okay, so we can't go in there. Can we go up here to a hotel restaurant? Yes, we can! So, this is a hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? Well, what else could it be? Sorry. Oh well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. That There are two people talking over there. That's right. I'm having a bad... I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. Really sick. Speaking of which, it would be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison, I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa, denied. Denied? Okay. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. It's nice to meet you. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. But... Could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? So you can cook. Do you want to come and hit me up? Because I'd love to get learn how to cook properly. 
I hope we can get along well. Oh, that reminds me, I've not properly introduced myself either. I'm so terribly sorry for keeping you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Ultimate Princess. <laughs> I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom known as Kovalsek. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. It's the same here, I hope we can get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, th that probably can't be helped. She says the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. Ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience to me. I shall extol your virtues. I feel like she's going to survive. Like, nobody would be stupid enough to kill a princess unless she's evil enough to go and kill somebody herself. That is also an option. Extol my virtues. Thanks. What the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. Oh, Terry Terry. So lucky to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? Mm hmm. I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully, yeah, I like it. Though I like the big. Though I like the big city flavour of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you refined, cultured, guilty as charged? N no, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? I'm actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black fondue. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I see. So you're a bit of the pervy type. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No thanks. <laughs> well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem expected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everyone knows that princesses are gr gr bleh, groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I could tear on my loins that are full of poison and ask her to suck her out. Is that why you were talking about poison earlier? Um, Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'll discuss this later. I'd better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. So I think that... Oh, I didn't read that. My bad. Right, let's check the lobby. <laughs> Sorry. Bird's kicking off. If she doesn't get her pet, she'll kick off. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand too. If this was a really normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? No. It's an uninhabited island. So it can't be helped. For an un uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept and it even seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? Okay, I think so these are the last two girls. I think we'll finish the episode once we've done this, but we'll see. Introductions. Well, I want to just introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. Ultimate Swordswoman. Actually, this dignified-looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordsman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Pako Pakoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. 
It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Yeah. Well, an aimed blow can be fatal too. Oh, keep that in mind. Okay, and last but not least. There's some girl playing an arcade game and she looks pretty completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Y yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki! <gasps> oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little, are you sure about that? Let's see. I oh, write introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Okay, so at the moment my bays are between Gundam, Chiaki, and Mikan. Nice to meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata, nice to meet you too. Yep. Yeah, totally. Seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I can get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still too focused on her game and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Aww. Ding dong bing bong! Is that a school bar just now? Hajime, look at the monitor over there. Congratulations everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! Sure. So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy! She kind of sounds a little bit like Monokuma when she holds on to the words, but... I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach! <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all! So is Monokuma not in this game then? She said to me at the beach. I is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Thinking about myself anything, we can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Okay, right, we're going to leave this one here. So we've done all the introductions to the characters now. So there's 16 of us in total. So we don't probably have a, sick, a little hidden 16th student by the name of Mukuro Ikosaba anywhere. Um, the characters seem really interesting. Some of them do remind me of some of the characters from the previous game. Um, but that just might be my own intuition. Like Chiaki kind of reminds me a little bit like Kyoko with the colour hair. And kind of a bit reserved at the beginning. But we'll see how it all plays out. And I, I don't know if Monokuma is going to be in this game. Because at the moment it seems to be all about Usami. But we will see. So the next episode for Danganronpa will be coming out on Tuesday. Thank you for watching and have a good one.